Good morning, ALA. Welcome to another day of school and welcome to chapel. This is Wednesday, May 6th. Grace and peace to all of you. It's my opportunity today and my privilege to be able to share with you a section of God's word from 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And a chronicle is a story about a person. It's a story about an event. And the chronicle I get to share with you today is, is a pretty awesome one that I hope is going to uh, increase your trust in, in your, uh, your heavenly father. Uh, the story is about a king named Jehoshaphat. And he's the king of Judah, uh, the king of, of God's people. And Jehoshaphat's a God-pleasing king, and he's just minding his business one day, uh, ruling his people, when he gets some pretty awful news. He hears from one of his scouts that there are three kingdoms that have conspired against, against Judah. Uh, one of them was the kingdom of Ammon, Ammonites. Another was the kingdom of Edom, the Edomites. And the last one is the king of Moab, uh, the Moabites. And these three different kingdoms had gotten together and decided, let's wipe out uh, Jehoshaphat and let's wipe out Judah. And the scout told them, they're coming to get you. They're kind of going to destroy the kingdom. And in fact, uh, they're well on their way. They're going to be here tomorrow. And so Jehoshaphat uh, takes that information and he's, he's pretty desperate. He knows that he's got um, no ability to defeat these three armies, three of the biggest kingdoms in the world at the, at the time. And so he gathers all the people together. He takes them to, into Jerusalem and outside the temple, he uh, leads the assembly in a prayer. And here's what he says. He says, God, I know that you're an awesome God, that you have all power over all creation and over all things. And he says, I know that also you've promised that you'll preserve your people and, uh, and that you're going to always take care of us and take care of our needs. And then he says, but right now we have a pretty awful situation. We got these three kingdoms coming toward us and we know that the, there's no possible way that we can defeat them. And so he says, we know that we can't do this work of defending ourselves. So our eyes are instead on you. So I wonder if you have a similar um, similar situation today. What's that army that's marching toward you, that's coming right at you, and that you have no control over, the one that you know that you just can't beat? Is it anxiety that's just deep down inside and you don't know where it's coming from and, and you, you don't know how to get rid of it? It's just always there. Is your big army that you can't defeat worry? Is it stress over the future? Is your army that you can't beat a temptation? That, uh, that comes your way. And, we, and you know that as soon as that thing uh, comes your way, that, that you just don't have any power against it yourself. You're going to succumb to that. Is it a decision you made in the past, maybe something that you did that uh, you know you shouldn't have done, and now it just weighs on you all the time? Uh, the guilt and the shame is always there. Is it something you didn't do, something you should have done, that you have regret over? And you know that that feeling is always there as well. Is it that list of online work that just keeps on building and you wake up in the morning and you turn on your computer and there's your list, more is added to the list and there's more that's late, there's more that you still have to do? You know, whatever it is today that um, that's that army that you just can't defeat, God wants you to know uh, that there's a, there's a recipe for, for getting out of that. And King Jehoshaphat gave us the first step to lay it all on God and to tell him that we know that we can't defeat this army ourselves, but instead that our eyes are on you. And so what happens? Uh, Jehoshaphat finishes his prayer and um, no sooner does that happen that one of the Levites, one of the priests of, of the people stood up and the spirit of God was on him and, and the Levite told the whole assembly in Jehoshaphat, um, God's heard your prayer and don't be afraid. He's going to take care of this. In fact, he says an awesome phrase. He says, the battle is not yours to fight. This battle is the Lord's. And he tells Jehoshaphat, take your army and tomorrow I'll go out to meet this gigantic army of three countries and, um, and meet them at this valley. And God will give you the victory. And so Jehoshaphat does that. In fact, they praise God that night. And the next morning they wake up early, they praise him again and they glorify him and they worship him. And they say, we know that you're going to give us a victory. And so Jehoshaphat takes his army and they start marching out toward this valley. And uh, when they get there, they see something very unexpected. Uh, just prior to the army getting there, God took these three countries and turned them on each other. And the Bible says that one country turned on the other two. And then the other two fought back and turned on each other as well. And by the time that God's people got there, what, what they saw was that every single soldier was lying there dead. The threat was over. The fight was, the fight was over. And not only that, that not only that, that was unexpected, but all of a sudden um, it occurs to Jehoshaphat that there's a lot of plunder down there. And so uh, so he tells the, all of his, his soldiers to go down there and start collecting all the, 
uh, the armor and the weapons and all the personal belongings, all these, uh, these valuables that these soldiers had. And it says in the Bible that it took three days to gather all the goods uh, that were left over from all these fighting men. It took three days to bring it back to Jerusalem. So what was it that you were thinking about earlier? What was that army that you just can't possibly defeat? You know, God wants to tell you today uh, the same thing that he told, Jehosh told Jehoshaphat, that this battle's not yours to fight. This battle's mine. And on that day that you first heard God's word and God created faith in your heart, or on that day that you were baptized and the Holy Spirit entered into you as well and you became God's child, God wanted you to know that your life is no longer yours. Your life is his. Your path is the path that God's going to lead you down. And the steps are the steps that God's going to cause you to step. And God's going to take care of you. He's going to fulfill your every need. And he wants you to know that whatever it is that you're fighting today, whatever army you can't possibly fight on your own, it's an army that you don't have to fight because the battle is actually God's. And the awesome thing is that God assures us that uh, no matter what that, uh, what that struggle is and what that fight is, God's going to win it for us. And he's going to give us unexpected blessings, things that we can't even imagine. And that culminates in what Jesus has done for us in dying on the cross to take away our sins, taking care of our biggest problem that we've ever had, the thing that we couldn't, the army we couldn't possibly defeat. And he gave us the gates to heaven so we can one day spend eternity with our loved ones and with him as well. The Apostle Paul really gives us a paraphrase in the New Testament of, of what Jehoshaphat said. And I want you to carry this with you today, uh, going into battle, going into a battle that you know God is going to win for you. He says, and let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. That's our life. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. So you can go into your day today with whatever it is that's staring you in the face that you know you can't defeat, knowing that God's going to take care of it for you. And so go walk into that um, undefeated army, just like Jehoshaphat did, knowing that God is, is there, it's his battle, and he's going to win it for you. And let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you've given us this gift of another new day. We thank you that you're an awesome God. We know that you are all powerful, that you have the ability to control all the events of history and that you have all, um, and you have our, our good in mind. We thank you also that you've promised to always be with us to take care of our, every single need. And, uh, and Lord, we want to want to go into our day today in faith, knowing that whatever battles we we're, uh, we're here to fight, they're really not ours or yours. <clears throat> and so give us a, uh, Give us a faith uh, that trusts in you, that loves you. And Lord, um, help us to go into our battle today knowing that the battle is, is yours and that you are going to give us a victory and that we're going to see all sorts of awesome blessings today. We ask that you be with all the students as they uh, do their, their school schooling today. We ask that you bless the relationships they have in their families and with each other. And Lord, most especially bless our relationship with you through the study of your word and uh, help us love you more and trust you more with every single moment of our day. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, with that, ALA, have an awesome day, and uh, we'll see you next time. God's blessings to you.